Alrighty, so welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on the PC. Now, I realise it has been, um, two years <laughs> um, since I last did it, and indeed nine months since I last made any sort of video. Um, yeah. Many reasons for this, the biggest one being life. Life has somewhat got in the way, um, sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a bad way, well, you know, how it is. But yes, life, alas, has taken precedence over this, as much fun as I have had making videos and such like. But uh, yeah, suffice to say, despite what has been reported in the press, rumours of my death have been greatly exaggerated. And that's all that needs to be said about that. So anyway, yes, we are picking this up. But you may ask, why am I suddenly deciding to pick up a game that I have not played for two years? Um, quite simple, really. It just got released on GOG. Woo! Yes, good old GOG. Those beautiful, beautiful bastards have signed Disney Interactive slash LucasArts. I know that sounds a bit like shilling, but... um. Screw it. I have 175 games on GOG. I am well in their power. <laughs> As it were. Okay. So, when we last left off, if I recall correctly, we had just killed that annoying little bastard down there who was threatening this... Duros? Okay, cool. And we also took out uh, these this annoying little bastard's... Um, little, you know sex droids or whatever the hell they were. Um, okay, so let's see if I remember how to do this. And in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Hey, girls. Been a while, dude. Um, right, let's get chat to this fella. Thank you once again, human. As I said earlier, don't worry about the bodies. I will take care of them for you. Alright, yeah, of course we talked to him before. Um, yes, oh. Flourish! Yeah, one thing just occurred to me, and this is entirely from memory, just so we're clear. Last time I upgraded, well, not last time I upgraded my character. Um, that's all people and stuff. No, no. Here we are. No, it doesn't. Anyway, the last time I, hey, that's cool. The last time I put an, a, gave him an ability point of some sort, or feet. That was it. I gave him. Feet. No, it was feet. That was it. Um, I gave him one in. Uh, they were, that was it. Dueling. Um. So yeah, I wasn't because me. I wasn't thinking necessarily that clearly when I put that in because normally I would go for a dual wielding character. So spoiler alert: you're going to get a lightsaber soon. Well, I say soon. Um. But yeah, normally I'd go for a, have my um, badass boy here we'll do all the lightsabers. But as I already got the dueling, this time we're gonna, I'm going to do something a little different and have him single wield. Okay, so enough of that. Let's uh, drop along. Well, I don't see too many of your coin round here. Most of the residents in this rundown hall department are illegal aliens. My name is Laren, by the way. Because obviously, Twi'leks come from the West Alright. I don't care what your name is, and I'm not telling you mine, filth. Alright. No, let's not go with that. Pleased to meet you, Laren. My name is Granny. I know it's really none of my business, you got that right son, but you look like someone who might need to purchase one of those new energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know, very high tech. Uh-huh. Well, I do happen to know all about energy shields. Spoiler alert, what do I keep saying? That makes no sense. Um, I'm not going to be using any energy shields. Um, previous playthroughs never really found a use for them. But let's find out about energy shields anyway. When you use one, it surrounds you with a radiant aura particle mesh that absorbs blaster bolts. Pretty handy in a fight. The shield even protects against lightsabers, or so I hear. 
The shields aren't perfect, of course. Oh, of course not. They can only absorb so much energy damage before they burn out, and ion blasters will take your basic dueling shield down pretty quick. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibrant. Really? That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. <laughs> really? Really? No wonder the Republic is losing this bloody war. You know, even today in the world we have, the military, or modern, up to date military force, has the capability to wipe out entire cities from a great distance. Uh, call in airstrikes, you know, we have submarine warfare, and, you know, attack helicopters, and, you know, missile destroyers, and all this stuff. And still, the soldiery get taught how to use a bayonet. They get taught how to use, how to engage in hand-to-hand -hand unarmed combat. <laughs> what sort of dipshit relies totally and completely and utterly on having the biggest gun? Even the space marines know how to kill someone with their bare hands. God. Karth. Your side is full of idiots. Um, ah, screw it. I think we've heard enough about the shields, though. I can't imagine the rest of that is particularly interesting. So, um, I've heard enough about these shields. Thanks, Laram. Oh, okay. Well then, you might be interested in knowing I have one for sale. It isn't cheap, but it could be the difference between life and death. Well, naturally, I've one for sale. I can't imagine you'd be telling us anything vaguely uh, useful if you couldn't... Oh, that's right. You want to see what I have in stock? I know my kiosk isn't much to look at, but my prices are reasonable and the merchandise is sound. Sorry, I got caught up in my rant there. Um, but anyway, yeah, unsurprisingly, yeah, he's got something to sell us. Um, why not? You mentioned something about illegal aliens living here. Oh, look at him. Look at his badass little tash and his, you know, moving eyebrows. What a bouse. Boilar, most aliens aren't allowed to have a residence in the upper city of Taris. We allow a few of us to elect up here, but for the most part it's humans only. I'm not a human, I'm a salvation! But no, self, but no self respecting upper city human would want to live in the apartments in this town. So the landlord has been written out the apartments to illegally to a. Why can't I speak English? So the landlord has been renting out the apartments illegally to aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, better than letting them sit empty, I guess. Otherwise, you get squatters and people hiding out from the authorities living in the abandoned apartments, and they don't pay. Kind of yeah, that's where that language is made up. Uh, why not? Aren't you worried about getting caught? The Taris authorities have pretty much no, the Taris authorities pretty much turned a blind eye to this place. A few illegal aliens just weren't worth the bother. And once the Sith took over, well, they felt the same way. See, you say what you like about the Sith, but you know, they are equal opportunities oppressors. Besides, I don't live here myself, I just run a small business but bring supplies to the residents. You wanna see what I have in stock? Yeah, why not? Let's see what you've got for sale, sir. No problem. Just let me... Just step on up and have a peek. Oh, there. Alright, um... Okay. So, let's... Well, what don't we need? We'll need that shit. We don't need that. Well, we'll get rid of it anyway. Um, ba -ba 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 oh, you know, I never use these, I have to say. I'm probably missing out a whole... Keep the grenades because they can be useful. But you know, I'm, I'm probably missing out on a a whole host of um you know combat and gameplay options. But I just Blair can't be bothered. Let's just Blair. There we go. Anyway, what's he got? Combat secret. Oh, nothing else to equip him with. Really? All right. Uh, what's Karth wearing there? Really? Master... Uh, 6, 1 to 6, so he's about as dancing as he's ever gonna be. What's my sword looking like? 
prototype on one, one to ten, one to twelve, that's by definition slightly better. One to six, nope, one to ten. Alright, so let's go for longsword. We'll sell the rest of the blades. Oh, shut up. Let me see what you got for sale. I'm gonna rob you blind. So, I will sell that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Keep the rest, show buy list. Um. Da 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 Wait, really? A heavy combat suit requires light armor proficiency. I like it. Um, light battle armor. Oh, okay, I suppose combat armor, battle armor. Okay, so we'll buy that. Alright. There we go. Alright. Sure. Okay. Let's get going. Is it going up? Ah, Twapa City. Let's go. So yeah, this would be the um, that's our apartment, and uh, this is to the upper city. So let's pop outside and get a breath of fresh air. Alrighty. Oh, John and Drew. That's cool. So welcome to the upper city of Taris. Um, that is man. That is woman. That is also man. That is Protocol Droid. Where the hell am I? What is this? The last bit of, um... Oh, the Forever War? Uh, anyway, um... One very cool... Addition... To, um... This game... Uh... That saves a hell of a lot of time, and... I, I, I give it to understand that at the time, but a few people complained about it. I don't know why, I assume those people were idiots. Um, but... This... I can't remember if I've mentioned it before. Ah! There we are, look at that. The Rapid Transit System. Now, what that lets you do is, when you are in a safe area, a sort of like a non-combat a non -combat zone, what you can do is you can pop to the map, and well, you can do one or two things. Um, when we get more members of the party, we can go to party selection and swap out our party on the fly without having to, you know, go back to wherever the hell they're, you know, camped or any crap like that. But we can also return to hideout. Yeah, yeah, we want to pop back to our hideout, which is right here. What it will also let us do is once we've come to our hideout, you know, it's an apartment here, it's spoiler alert, it's Gotta stop saying that. It's gonna be a ship later on. But we can then do our stuff in the apartment and then transit back to the place we left. Which is fantastic. Um I, I, I cannot tell you just how wonderful that is the features. Um what to solve his droid, and <sighs> that's our escape board, isn't it? Nice going, Karth, you tactical genius, you. I'm going to be generous and say that's about 200 yards. Probably not even that, to be fair, but being hyper generous, that's 200 yards from where we crashed, and you thought that was the best place to hide. You. Yeah. Oh, if only I could just, I don't know, stab him or something. But anyway, let's put it along around the... Oh, what? Got more? What are we actually trying to do again? Oh, we're trying to find Bastila, that was it. Hello, man. Hello, woman. Ta da <clears throat> Out of our way, citizen. Ooh. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. Well, at least Sith Trooper was um, nice enough to give us a friendly warning. Oh, this looks interesting. 
Davik says you missed your last payment. Davik doesn't like you missing payments. But he doesn't like you. Here, I I've got 50 credits. A down payment. That should buy me no. some time. Right? Be written, sorry. You're out of time. Uh oh. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. Is it true? But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? That's too bad. Davik's going to want to make, make an example of you. You're coming with us. No. Help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we going to just let them drag this guy off? Yes. Hold on a second. It looks like we got lesson. ourselves a witness here. Davik doesn't like witnesses. <clears throat> Sorry, I'd be going now. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that, nor are we going to, um... Well, you see, I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson. See, I, I kind of like that as a phrase, but you know what? We are going to be a little bit goody-goody, so why not? Leave this man alone or you'll have to deal with me! Guess we have to teach you to mind your own business! <laughs> Looks like I have to teach you how to die! So this shouldn't take too long. Yay, yeah, light side points gained! Oh yeah, Obi-Wan has nothing on me, son. Damn right you are. Smart woman. You think? Yep. Oh, right. I, I would say this is one of the few issues I actually have with Knights of the Old Republic as a game. Is that... And I, I think this is definitely something that... Well, I've never played it, but I'm given to understand that... Well, actually, no, this is like a problem I had with Mass Effect, with its dialogue system. And I believe that is also a problem that was in uh, Dragon Age 2, amongst all the other problems that were in Dragon Age 2. Is that um, sometimes? I mean, a lot of the morality that happens is very much in dialogue. In fact, all the morality um, choices that happen are in dialogue, and it is very much black and white. You know, you know, there's no sort of shades of grey, or that you know, there's not a huge amount of nuance. That's what I'm looking for. Nuance. So, hand over all your credits if you want to live. Grrr! You know, that, that's evil. I'm just glad I could help. You know balance. Maybe I can help you. Good. And, like I said, it's one of the few criticism, criticisms I would, I can and do level against this game, is that it, the morality system such as it is, is a little simplistic. Um, but then again, I suppose uh, that's kind of in keeping with Star Wars, considering they're the, um, or rather, the, considering the um, Jedi Sith um, split, I guess, is very much a uh, black and white, um, very un, very black and white situation, lacking the nuance. So anyway, um, again, goody goody. Maybe I can help you. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters. Uh -huh. So unless you have a spare one hundred uh -huh. credits to give me, so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. <laughs> I like that. You know, the old guy had already had fifty credits, and he couldn't scrape together another. Because that was just like a huge amount of money. Oh yeah, yeah. But anyway, again, glad I could help. Give me your credits if you want to live. No, here's a hundred credits. Take them. Give me one hundred credits. Apparently so. Just like that. Yes. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving you him a hundred credits. Generous. No, I can think? pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Well, yes, you better. I mean, I'm not quite sure I've saved you from Davik because I have just killed two of his um, bounty hunters. And you know that I, I, I still think this old guy, when he visits Davik, is going to be strung up by his testicles. Uh, it's, it's not going to be good. But anyway, lost 100 credits, got some experience points, and some light side points. This is another slight problem I have with. Again, it ties back into the morality system. So I did the good guy, the uh, absolute light side choice, and that cost me 100 credits. Except, 
when I search their bodies and I get my money back. I think, and this is something I think The Witcher does very well, um, is that there are the consequences of your actions are not immediately obvious, and but there are consequences. Whereas in this, you know, the consequences of that action should be I was a hundred credits out of pocket, but I did the right thing. Instead, the consequences of that action of that is that I did the right thing, and apart from some experience points and um, you know more light side points, nothing else has changed about my situation. Um, and I, I, I do think that's a shame because this is something really could have explored in this a lot more. That sort of um, you know how to put it, sort of like doing the right thing isn't always doing the right thing. Um, but anyway, I think that's enough uh, philosophical, well, <laughs> barely philosophical rambling for the list. Um, ooh, but that came across quite well. We're in Grand Tour 3. Um, anyway, I hope that came across fairly uh, sensibly. So, um, yeah. Hopefully it won't be two years until the next uh, part comes along. Tatty bye. Oh!